we were asking parents about uh, various different policies that, that have been um, uh, sort of thought about as ways of making sports safer, one of which is limiting high-risk contact like tackling to older youth. And about 60% were in support of those kinds of age limits. As an organization, the American Academy of Pediatrics makes statements about um, different sports and sports safety and how things can be safer. And I, I think this adds to that uh, discussion that parents also are in support of some ways of mitigating risk in, in youth sports. I think sports are a really important way for kids to get exercise, they're fun, um, they have social support, they have structure, um, but all sports have a cost-benefit ratio and really, I, you know, I feel like our job as, as pediatricians, as public health researchers, is to try to make sports safer so that kids can participate and I think parents are in support of that. Parents want their kids to participate in sports, and sports are important. We have five million kids that play football every year, and I think uh, we should be really tasked with thinking about how to make them safer and helping support parents and kids. There's not been any age limits on tackling. There are a few states that have thought about this as a, as a possibility to how, you know, how to mitigate risk for youth playing football. Hockey has been really on the leading edge of some of these kinds of changes to try to make hockey safer, and uh, that's come out of um, some really nice work done in, the, in Canada by the researchers up there. And so they've actually limited body checking to kids that are 13 and older. And then more recently, there's been some similar changes in soccer, where they've limited heading uh, to kids that are 11 and older. All activities that our kids do have, have risk. And the truth is, you know, if you're going to go and you're going to bike down the street, that itself has risk. If you're going to be a mountain climber, that has risk. Um, all of them also come with benefits and really trying to understand how we can balance those and understand how this, um, you know, how uh, individual families, what, what their values lie with. I think, I think that's really the answer. There's not a simple solution.